Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge. I told you guys you'd be expecting a baby really, really early next episode. So apparently I can't even get everybody's day going before, guess who went into labor? I told you guys I was hoping that the baby would be born at the end of last episode. I was crossing my fingers. Unfortunately, apparently the baby just needed a few more hours to bake before it was ready, I suppose, you know? It just had to wait until the morning. It's 7.45 and she's going into labor. So you know what I mean. So we're expecting a new baby at the beginning of this episode, which is awesome because I was so hoping she would have it before the end of this day so that we could start planning out Logan's party because we're going to be introducing our brand new baby to all of our friends. And we are going to be having Logan's sort of like coming up party where he's, you know, officially going to be named a warden. And that's going to be amazing. Everybody's just sort of casually reading. Uh oh, little little Jeremy is going to see her going into labor. Oh no, he's like, oh god, and oh my god, he's screaming bloody murder. He's like, oh my god, what's wrong with mom? I imagine everybody hears him like freaking out in the kitchen. They have no idea. Oh, look, it's faithful to metal and so cute. And now here comes Mal walking in the kitchen to also freak out with everybody. Oh my god, the boys are just like, yeah, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. I'm gonna keep reading my book. We'll let them freak out on their own. Oh my god. I'm so excited though. I can't wait to see what she's gonna have. So I have my names here. If it's a boy, it is Salem. If it's a girl, it's Justine. So I can't wait to see. Uh, let's see who's gonna get their wish. Mal wants a girl. She wants a boy. Don't know what it's gonna be yet. I kind of on Mal's side. I kind of want a girl just because we have two boys. But a house full of boys is not a problem either. Everybody in this place apparently has a boy thing. Uh, all of Spade's children are boys. So far, they've only had boys. The Willettes had a boy. Like, it's just everybody has boys. So, I mean, I, I would like to see some more girls, but it's cool if we don't have another girl. Let's see, though. Let's go ahead and fast forward through the labor. We all know this whole spiel and dance, you know? She's done it now twice. Let's go ahead and speed through. The dog is even in there like, what the heck is going on? Oh, I thought she was drinking the water that was, like, from her water breaking. You know, but I'm so excited you guys we're gonna have a new baby I was hoping this would happen last episode so that we would start this episode a girl Oh my god. Yay. We got a girl. I was so hoping it would be a girl It's just Dean is our baby's name. We picked it uh, a couple episodes ago. So if this is the name you gave me I don't have who gave me the names. I have it in my sheet. I write it next to the names, but Unfortunately, I'm an idiot and I don't actually write it next to them when I pick them out of the thing. So Justine is our baby girl, our first baby girl. I can't believe it all. Oh, so cute. And we get to pick her traits. Now, um, somebody mentioned or gave me links. I think it was Diego again. Diego's always giving me tips. Thank you, Diego. About um, unlocking all of the traits, I think, from the start uh, get-go. Just so you can have a more variety of sims because there's a lockdown on the traits that happen with the sims like you know babies can't have certain traits so sometimes you start getting repetition in the traits so thank you so much Diego for that tip so I have that mod installed so we have access to every single trait I mean having a flirty toddler would probably be kind of weird but you, you get what I mean though it allows you to have access to every trait so that you have a little bit more of a mixed variety of sims from the get-go and can kind of have a wider change so that you're not picking from the same pool of things so same thing that we always do I will roll it random I will give myself three mulligan two mulligans three mulligans three tries basically first try if I really absolutely hate it I can roll again and if I really absolutely hate it again I can roll one more time and I have to take the third try unless it includes a trait that I just just doesn't fit with the challenge that's the only time I allow myself to break that rule is if I get a trait like robot fan where it just would be stupid to have in a medieval world. You guys get what I'm talking about? So let's go ahead and give it one roll and let's see what we get for little baby Justine and click the button. A social butterfly and a perfectionist. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. You know, she's, she's going to be very much like a social person. She likes to talk to people. She likes attention on her. She likes people to pay attention to her. Let's see. I don't even know what, really what that is. Social butterfly sims aren't happy unless they're socializing. It will do just about anything to be the center of attention. Oh my God. Yes. I imagine that the only girl of the family would want to be the center of attention all the time. Okay. Absolutely. And perfectionist work. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm not even going to roll it again. I like those traits. Mal got his wish, he got his baby girl. Oh, we got our baby girl. Little baby Justine. Oh, look at that. She's 
so cute already and I love it. Oh, it looks like her hair is brown too. Is this our first non-redhead baby too? She's gonna look like Elia? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a quick little adjustment I normally do for the babies. I mean, her wearing a diaper is not a problem either, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a quick, oh my god, Elia, you just had a baby. No, as soon as she had the baby, she's like, Mel, let's go make another one because I wanted a boy and I'm not satisfied with the fact that I have a girl. So I want a boy. I mean, look at her face. She's like, a girl, I wanted a boy again. I wanted a house full of boys. She looks so pissed about it too. I'm gonna go ahead and give little baby Justine a quick little makeover and I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so I just gave her a quick little adjustment um, just so that she, oh my God, it looks like he's like, oh, wah. <laughs> you know, quick little adjustments, so a little baby Justine fits in more. No, you are not going to start woohooing as soon as you have a baby. I just said this is going to be you guys' last baby and you're already like, let's make another. We don't have time for all of this, okay? Well, thank you. Oh my God for being patient with that because wow. Okay. Uh, we were waiting so long for our little baby and now she's here. We got a little baby girl. I'm super- oh wait, did I not have them turn in their homeworks? Whoopsie daisy, <laughs> my fault. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta get them going with their thing. Do your homework, yes you can. You can even ask your brother to help you do your homework, that works too. So she's gonna put the little baby in their little baby, Justine. Oh my god, you guys, we got our little girl. I'm so excited. I wanted them to have a little girl because we had so many little boys. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I don't plan to make them have any more babies, you guys. I don't- I don't plan to. If it happens, it would be a complete accident because these two woohoo when I'm not paying attention sometimes. And that would legitimately be the only way I plan that they would have any more kids on my particular watch. I'm done with them, these these two having kids. We're gonna focus now on the next generation and then we'll keep expanding the family from there. So that's 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 my stance on it. But like I said, who knows? I have autonomous woohoo on for like the first time, so it's possible that, you know, they might have more kids ac on accident, I guess. So, you know, uh, let me have Emmerich go eat. Oh, Jeremy learned that Emmerich loves the cult. Okay. So they just had their new baby and we're going to be planning ourselves a party. What? Party. Okay. Um, are you, is your dog being mean to you? Why? What are you doing? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have a party though. I don't think we're gonna do it today. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow and we'll end the episode on the party because I want him to go ahead and to propose to Madeline and I think I'm gonna move her into our household. I know that seems crazy, but it makes having the wedding and stuff easier. And it'll sort of be like, since they're like officially betrothed to everybody on in, in Ulokia, they're basically, she's gonna move in and become also a ward of of the Reyes is here of the of the of them so, so she actually officially marries Logan and then we can continue onwards from there you get what I'm saying you guys I know I know it's a little bit weird I'm a little bit weird though so there you go that's that's the problem with me um but that's what we're gonna probably do so I'm gonna play through this day like pretty normal I think we're gonna maybe have Emmerich go and um talk to Yvette because he wants to go on another date with her and he wants to hang out so maybe we'll do that today and stuff like that and we'll just hang out with the girls and prepare for this party and then tomorrow we're going to be throwing ourselves a party where we will officially make it official that logan is going to be our warden and that he is going to be officially betrothed to yvette not yvette oh my god to madeline jesus christ too many sims too many sims to recall i can barely remember names of the people that i know in real life so <laughs> trying to remember all my sim names are also just you know crazy but now that he's all done, I'm gonna get everybody working on their homework and stuff. We'll go through our day. They're gonna, and I'll come back with you guys when they hang out, you know? That's what we're gonna do for now. Okay, guys, so Emmerich has found Yvette here at the park. He's come to ask her to hang out with him again, you know? Because why not? He's coming to ask her to hang out so that they can chill, you know, and have some fun. It'd be fun to hang out. Have him. He wanted to ask her out on another date and he wanted to hang out with her. So, this works out. They are going to just chat it up like they normally do. We're going to spend some time probably with the girls today, you know, and be excited. And then we're going to have our party tomorrow, probably early, maybe in the afternoon. Who knows? All right. So he's done working on his homework. I think Jeremy's also done working on his homework. We got Jeremy. Oh, okay. Wait, we got Emmerich, Jeremy, and Justine. <laughs> Jeremy and Justine, like the two J's at the end. Emmerich, your, your, your name messed it up. <laughs> Oh, it's okay though. It's no big deal. Um, 
So he's hanging out there. Does he? Okay, he doesn't necessarily want to do anything specific with Madeline. So I, I won't make him come out here just because it's hard to watch them because you know they like to get into shenanigans all the time but uh maybe we should make mal come out to the park here a little bit because he hasn't one gotten any fresh air in a little while because i was waiting on the baby to be born and two i want to see if we can meet some other people so that we can get a new you know what i don't think he can though because we need more people to live in uloki it's time for me to move into more families but like i said i've been stockpiling my money in order to um in order to be able to afford the house for Logan, which is going to be quite expensive. So, decisions, decisions. But anyways, I'm going to have these guys. Oh my god. Here we go again. Yes, she's certainly pregnant over there. Um, definitely, definitely pregnant over there. Um, not sure what she's having or when she's having it. But, you know, it doesn't look like she's due anytime soon, though. So, should be curious to see, though. I'm glad that we're getting more and more... Elliot got a gift from Pierce. Um, Logan got a letter from Madeline. It says, I can't stand it anymore. Every time I see you, all I can think about is our lips pressed together. Passionate kiss. Whoa. Oh, my God. Madeline. Jeez, girl. There's a letter. And okay. Yeah, just a bunch of letters from people who have crushes on them because this game makes everybody have a crush on everyone. Even though, you know, that's weird. But, you know, who cares? Whatever. No big deal. Oh, aw, that's so cute, Emery. He shared a secret with her and told her that he loves her. That's adorable. So sweet, Emmerich. That's so cute. That's the cutest. They're adorable, too. Maybe we should let them be official, since he's apparently telling her he loves her all the time. But as soon as they become official, then I have to worry about these two sneaking off and woohooing with each other all the time, because that happens as soon as they become official. I did at least change the settings so that you don't randomly woohoo with crazy people unless you are in a romantic relationship with them. But the game does not recognize romantic interests as romantic relationship until they're, like, official. And then, you know, you have to... That's when you have to watch and be careful. But I think that maybe they should be official at this point because... Or maybe we should make them official at the party too. He's going to officially, I guess, be betrothed to her. And Logan's going to officially be a betrothed to Madeline. And then we're going to basically have everything set up and ready for everybody after that. So I think that maybe we'll do that. We'll wait until then. So now I'm excited to throw this party tomorrow. Are you harassing the cow? Why are you harassing the cow? Oh! Logan, you're a dick. Okay. <laughs> Logan, you're a dick. Wait, what? It's it's hard to understand Charles the Evil Chicken, but Malvik thinks he said that he could crush you. Like so many seeds in his craw. Um Mal, are you gonna die by chicken fight? Like just don't 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 get weird and like start doing crazy stuff. Why are you tipping the cow over though? You can get a milkshake though because you take tip the cow over. Oh my god, Logan, you're kind of a jerk. <laughs> you're a jerk. Um oh we have one more gem to cut over here too, so let's go ahead and do that. Cut a stack of gems. Elia, what are you doing? Are you gonna go play with the bow and arrow? She is, you go girl. She's like, I'm not about to practice my archery with those pink gloves that the game decided that you needed, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm gonna have them chill for the day. Uh, we have our new family member, little baby Justine. I'm so excited and I'm happy that it was a girl, you guys. I'm happy that we got to get at least the one girl in the family and she will be spoiled rotten to the core. So her being a social butterfly totally makes sense. But, um, you know, let's go ahead and do a pear cut, I guess, I don't really care. And we can give this stuff to Mal so that he can sell it because that's our thing that we're doing. He's hanging out with, well, he was hanging out with her. Now he's rereading a book. Why don't you actually hang out with your, your girlfriend or date or whatever she is to you? And then, uh, t -t 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 um, hold hands and do stuff like that. Flirt and all that other good jazz. Just queue up a bunch of these type of things, flirtatious joke, all that good stuff like that so that we have some of that stuff queued up and you guys are spending some time together and then you can head back home after a little while and we'll probably end the day and I'm excited to get to this pot, hey, because, you know, I want to do it. Are you playing chess? No, you're, oh, he's playing tic-tac-toe with the cow, okay. I'm like, are you playing chess? You know, you haven't gotten any fresh air for a while either. Maybe you guys should go to the park. Logan can watch the baby. He's technically just sort of chilling around the house. No big deal. 
So why don't, uh, yeah. Why don't you guys go to the park? Because it's been a minute since they've left a lot and I don't want them to start getting all stir crazy on me. So let's go here with Jeremy and Mal and let's have them all just sort of come out and get some fresh air too. Logan has agreed to watch the baby. He's a little bit nervous about the party tomorrow because he knows what's coming on and he knows what's going to happen. So I think he's just a bit on the nervous side. So he's just going to blow some steam with some archery. Good choice, Logan. Good choice. Okay guys, so everybody is back. Of course he had a wonderful date with Yvette. He spends time with her all the time. You know, we're gonna get prepared for our party tomorrow. He's gonna change his new baby sister's diaper. Aw, you were doing a little baby sister. I imagine he'd probably be protective of her too. She's like the only girl in the family. She's gonna be like super protected, okay? Like super protective. And Rick got her. He's like, I got it, mom. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Aw, so sweet. Yes, but he's taking you her diaper. But everybody's going to wind down for the night, you know, and relax for a little while. It's 7 p.m. They should be heading to bed pretty soon here. And we're going to get our party all planned up for tomorrow. So it's just going to be a typical party for the most part. But like I said, I, there's a couple things I want to accomplish during the party. Which one, I want Logan to propose to... Madeline and I think I want Emmerich to become official with Yvette and that's pretty much what it's gonna be But we're gonna say it's a party to celebrate one the new baby and two like I said Mal establishing Logan as being the official like, you know Warden like he's gonna be Definitely the warden no doubts about it. No ifs ands or buts about it You know, he's gonna be the warden and that's pretty much what it's gonna be We're gonna establish that with everybody even though the Estradas are probably gonna show up and leave like five minutes later Because they always do I don't know what their problem is, but they never like staying at my parties long so there's that but you know he's getting his baby sister out taken care of because he's a good big brother Emmerich's a good big brother. Yes, he is you know, and now him and Yvette have another thing in common. They both have little siblings, which is adorable. So then he's going to put her back inside of the crib and we are going to prepare for the night. And I will likely see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. Good morning. Um, we are waking up here. Uh, looks like Mal wants to talk to Jeremy. He wants to have another kid. I don't plan to make them have another kid, you guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that wish. I don't want them to have another kid. Like I said, if they do, it'll be an accident. I think three is enough for them, you know. <laughs> I'm fine with the three that they have. I think we're all good. So I don't plan to make them have another kid at all. But we do plan to have ourselves a party today. That is our goal. It's totally our goal. So he's going to feed his bambino, his little baby girl. Yes. Oh, my God. He wanted a baby girl, and he got it. So far, he's gotten every... Oh, Emmerich's in there. Like, the baby was crying. It's very annoying, you know. Why don't you go make up your bed? Go ahead and put your fire out for the day. And get yourself all bathed up. You guys have to be looking good today, feeling good, because we're going to have ourselves a party. Oh, my word. Okay, there she goes. She was freaking out there for a second. Don't think I didn't see that game. You like to play these weird games with me and make stuff strange. Okay, so it's 5 a.m. So the party is definitely not going to be this early. I think maybe we'll do it in the afternoon. So I'm just going to do it now. Let's throw a party. Um, and I'll get it all set up and then forget that I set it up. And then, you know, there'll be weird things happening. So let's go ahead and set up the party. So, um, just go away and give me everybody. So we can, you know what? He needs more relationships. We should invite some random people <laughs> to our, not a, oh my God, you can throw a funeral. How come I didn't know that was a thing? A masquerade ball, a victory party, a costume party, a gift giving party, a juice kegger, a tailgate, a bachelor party. Wow. Okay. A feast party. Hmm. Let's just do a house party like normal. It's not going to be that early in the morning. Maybe we should make it around lunchtime and do the party around like 12 maybe or 1. Let's do like 1 o'clock maybe. Yeah, like 1 o'clock. That should be in the afternoon. People should be awake and kind of ready for the day and stuff by then. Not a.m. by the way. And let's do casual. I don't really care. You don't have to come super dressed up. Uh, let's invite this random dude just because I want to have more relationships with people for the simple fact that he needs to to get his uh, thingamabobber and every let's just invite everybody that's probably a mistake yeah I'm probably gonna regret that that later but for now we're gonna invite everybody to our party they all probably won't show up 
I kind of hope they don't all show up. But everybody's invited to this. This is going to be a big shindig. It's a huge thing. The party will be at 1 p.m. We don't have a buffet table, but we got to get some cooking done. So, you know, we got some stuff we do have to do and get done. Uh, looks like Jeremy is up. So why don't you put his fire out? Because I don't think he can. And then just make his bed up. Where are you, little boy? You are going outside. No. Come upstairs and use the bathroom and take yourself a bath. Logan... You're not very dirty, but you're about to be if you go work out. I guess you can work out this morning. No biggie, no biggie. Uh, why don't you make up the bed and also put your fire out? And then I think I'm going to have Elia maybe cook some because we need to have some food and stuff. So I'm basically going to start preparing for the party. I don't think that they're going to be doing anything overly crazy. What are you doing, Logan? Like You went downstairs, turned right back around, and went right back upstairs. And I have no idea what that's all about. Whoopsie-daisy, I went a little too high. Go down, down. There we go. And then... Did you put it? Yes, put your fire out too. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna get themselves started for the day. I'm gonna try to get some goodies going for the party so that we have some stuff for people. When they arrive, it's gonna be fun. I told you guys my goal, so uh, I'll be back as soon as the party starts. All right, guys, so our party will be starting real soon and it's time for us to do some setup and stuff like that. Mel's cleaning up, which is great. Everybody's eating. I did a little tweak to little Justine because her hair was glitching and it was making this weird streak across the screen. She has black hair. I don't know where she got black hair from, you guys. I'm kind of confused about it. I don't know because like Elia's hair is brown. Mal's hair is red. I have no idea where the black hair came from. I really don't know unless like the roots of Elia's hair are kind of dark, but no, her hair is like all black. I have no idea why it's black. I don't know if I'm going to leave it black. Maybe I'll make it brown like Elia since it's obviously not red like how Emmerich and Jeremy's hair was like blatantly obviously red. Or unless we could say she got it from like a grandparent or something like that because technically Elia, Elia's father supposedly died, but... I mean, like, he, she really doesn't have a dad in game-wise. That was just her story type thing. But, like, I don't know where the black hair came from. I was a little bit confused. I'm like, why is your hair black? That's so bizarre. <laughs> I have no idea why her hair is black like that. But our party is going to be starting here real soon. So I am going to get them all cleaning up. Let's turn on our radio, get the dance moves going, you know. Oh, I have my volume turned down. I constantly turn the music volume down in this game because while I'm building, it's quite annoying. So now that we got that going, hold on, I want to change it to, I'm normally listening to Egyptian music because it just fits a little bit for me, the best out of everything we have. So everybody's cleaning up, which is great news. We need to clean. Um, Ellie, babe, why don't you just put your everyday back on and then why don't you come in here and talk to her now? Oh. Logan, what are you wearing, my friend? You need to change your clothes, too. I need to fix his outfit. Where did the glasses come from? I don't even know, but, like, put your everyday clothes on. <laughs> Please and thank you. Let's just get you all dressed in your nice clothes so that everybody's ready. I think that our party guests will be coming real soon here. So we got everything going on. Elia baked a pie earlier for our guests so we can put it out a little bit later she made an apple pie just so that we had some food but a lot of the time the guests will bring food too so i don't know but you know what logan's kind of hungry so maybe we should just take it out now and let him eat some apple pie but he could also just eat these waffles so there's that let's just grab a plate so that he has some food in him because he has a role that we have to play and i'm gonna try to do this stuff as fast as possible just because i know how this game gets with uh stuff and it'll be like everybody's leaving now so end of your party and that sucks so i'm gonna get everybody going though and i'm gonna try to get them on their tasks oh and our first guests have started to arrive i'm gonna try to get them on their tasks as soon as possible because i just i know how this game can be with parties and uh yeah it's kind of annoying when that happens like people will show up and leave immediately logan what are you doing eat okay good he's he's eating all right all right all right so emmerich definitely needs to become official with little Yvette is she's here Dune is here and Luna or Fireball okay Fireball looks so much like Luna it's hard to tell sometimes uh looks like Ursula is here and Paula's here um t -t 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 okay people may still be arriving so we'll give them a little bit of time I hope Yvette comes and Madeline better come like we need them to, to come it's sort of important for our plans that those two show up here you know what I'm saying we kind of need them to come. 
it's cool for Mal to be outside chatting with everybody, but it's kind of really important that the two of them come to this party. You know what I'm saying? This whole thing sort of revolves around you guys uh, being here. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they show up. I mean, they would ruin our plans if they don't show up. Oh my god, are you like pregnant again or something? Or does your back just hurt? Because, wow, if you're pregnant again. Um. Oh, Ursula's playing the guitar and she's really good at it. I mean, I hope they come. Is Madeline and Yvette not coming? Oh, wait. Oh, no, here she comes. She's bringing the baby. Oh, Yvette's coming. Their brother grew up. Look at him. Another black-haired child. Well, no, his hair is brown. His hair is brown. I should probably give him a makeover. Why does she have a stroller? Where did she get it from? Nobody knows, but she's coming and she's bringing the baby. Aw, so cute. Look at that! She brought her baby brother! Ah, I should probably give him a makeover. I didn't know he grew up! Didn't know he grew up at all! Look at him! He's adorable! Kind of. I can't tell, really, how he looks. I have to kind of age him up to see what he looks like. We should do that. I will do that. I will do that before they leave. I hope. I, I hope so. If not, we're going over to their house and trying to fix him up a little bit before this is over. But since Yvette is here, it's sort of important that we chat with her, you know? it's. Let's go flirt with her immediately because we want to at least get this gun. Where's Madeline? Is she here? Yes, she's here. Okay, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. We definitely, definitely got to chat with her because it is super important that we do this. That we, that we, oh my god, not who we're trying for a baby. Where am I, what am I trying to do? What is my mind? Where is, where is my mind? What am I doing? What is a mind? What is thought? I don't know. What are words? Who the heck knows? Uh, why don't you come and like dip kiss her? We're just gonna try to you know get her all Up there and give her a kiss. Let me just turn this off because she's playing the guitar and that music is going and it's not it's So cute though like she's playing the guitar and everything we're just gonna pretend like everybody's around watching because in a sense of this game, it's really hard to get the sims that you don't control to cooperate Hence why they're probably somewhere in my house getting busy in one of my beds Who's bed? Who's bed? Oh, of course. Mal and uh, Elias bed. It only makes sense that they'd be up there getting their freak on in my bed because why, what else would they do at a party besides, you know, talking to people? No. Heck no. Let's just go get busy. That's all that matters to life in this game, apparently. That's why you guys had to have like a thousand kids. I'm not going to even know what to do with the amount of children that might spawn from the number of times you guys get freaking busy all the time it's kind of crazy but okay yes he's being extremely irresistible i want him to propose to her while everybody's here we'll just say you know everybody's around and it actually it looks kind of like it kind of looks like everybody's crowding around to look at stuff and like she's playing the guitar though and that's really what they're watching but in my mind that's not what's happening here and then i want him to propose marriage it's gonna be so cute it's gonna be so cute okay she's putting her baby brother down because i want him to go steady with her too they should probably be in there watching this too but like i said i'm on a time crunch because i know how parties in this game work and i don't want everybody and their moms to be like well now i have to go home your party's over so i'm um, it's kind of oh she see you see do you see what I'm talking about? Like they just got here and they're leaving. No, come back, come back. This is why I said I have to rush things because things just get so bad. Like come back, come back, come back, come back. I don't want you to leave yet. Luckily, I think they normally hang around for a while. Like they stay outside of my house for a little bit because I want, I want this stuff to happen and they're they're leaving already. This is what happens all the time. I told you guys. And he's proposing today. I don't care. I don't care. This is this is happening. This game, th this game is not going to get the best of me. It's just like when Lucas and Omar got engaged and supposed to get married and, and the Adventure Sim Challenge. Stuff went wrong there too. And we're, we're not letting that stop us, okay? While they're still, oh, no, 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 no. Not friendly. We don't need to be friendly. We need to only be romantic. This is why. This is why, you guys. I said I had to rush. I don't know why the parties in this game only last for an hour because Jesus, they like the time, that's a minute. That's like you got one minute to get everything done that you need to get done in a party. And it's ridiculous. Luckily, I think most people hang around outside of the house once parties end in this game. Look, people, get the hell out of my way. Okay, get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to do something. 
Oh, well, he immediately got rid of everything else and went for the makeout. All right, I wanted you to propose to her. So now I have to build this all back up again because you guys are douche canoes. Um, I will talk to her in a second. Uh, flirt, and then let's do an embrace. Come on, guys. This is this is why. This is why I shouldn't plan to do things at a party. I should just invite people over and just do it from there. Because this game likes to make my life difficult. It really does. Uh, let's hold hands and uh, dip kiss. I'm just trying to get their relationship things back up again because they have to be. Okay, extremely irresistible. Perfect. We'll pretend like everybody's watching right now. Use your imagination, guys. Because, wow, this game likes to screw with me. Let's just go ahead and give her a proposal. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. Oh, look at this. He's been wanting to propose to her for so long. It's official! She said yes! Look at that! So cute! It's adorable! It's official! So cute! He has proposed to her. They are engaged. They can get married now. Oh, you guys. I think that we attend a party. Yeah, we got invited to one apparently. Is that why everybody's leaving my party? Because they're going to somebody else's party? Because I find that very rude. I find it extremely rude. And I want him to propose going steady with her. But these two are now officially engaged. I want to move her into the house. <clears throat> Because, you know, now it's going to be like, you know, we're, they're going to keep an eye on her since until they're they're married. Maybe I'll wait until next episode, though, and we'll officially move her in. Since it is official, everybody, they are engaged. So cute. And these two are also going to make themselves official. He's going to propose going steady with her. Aw, look at them. Are you guys going to get busy? They're going to get busy. You know what? They honestly probably could without people saying, unless they choose to go in the igloo where her parents are. Let's see where Let's see where they go with this. And they're choosing the igloo. Okay, you guys can't go to the igloo because I'm pretty sure your parents are, like, hanging out outside. Yeah, and so is Mal. He's, like, hanging out right there by the baby. Did you guys make it official and I wasn't paying attention? They did. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so blind to everything, apparently. But they also made it official. So, so cute. He is now officially her boyfriend. They are, like, officially, um an item too they are officially betrothed as well kind of but not necessarily completely like she's promised to him and vice versa and stuff like that but they're not officially anything yet either though i don't think that they would care if he was to because you know they're they're very well off so i don't think her father would care it was more logan that she had weird problems with um, no, Logan, you guys cannot go get busy in the igloo while her parents are there. You know what? She's going to be moving in real soon. I'm going to move her in and stuff like that. So uh, I, 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 I think that we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Should I just move her in now? You know what? Maybe we'll just move her in now because it's, it seems like it's just you might as well. They want to get busy all the time. Ask her about her day. Let's try to get friendly with her and enthuse about your wedding. Be like super excited and mal's gonna be like we're gonna have her live here you guys aren't going to okay i thought they were going to go try to get busy too because they're now official meaning that they can also try to go woohoo and they're not allowed to not with her parents oh he wants to make out with her of course you do of course you do let's make out there you go so cute they're adorable too okay let's go ahead though and try to see if we can get her to move in Seeing as they are like official official, I should probably have another room set up for her too, which means I may need to use a little bit of my money here to try to establish a room. We'll do the same type of thing like when they become official too. We'll like move her in until they get married because it makes weddings easier too. And you know, it just gives time to get to keep her around in the family for a bit and stuff like that. It makes my life easier, okay? We'll just put it that way makes my life easier and i wanted to move her in once she became official so that they can keep an eye on her um if the game will let me there we go now i've done it successfully okay sorry about that i, I tried it once i screwed it up and then i had to redo everything over and reload the game but i did it successfully this time and he got rid of the thing to want to move in with madeline because she is officially a part of our household temporarily you know it gives us a chance to sort of maybe help her build up a couple skills and she ages up really soon anyway so you know it gives us a chance though to try to age up a, a couple of her skills before they officially get married i mean she has a few here so not bad but it gives us just a little bit of time it 
kind of relieves some space for the Willettes as well because they have a growing family apparently with their little baby boy right there. But she's not officially a part of the family until, uh, you know, until they get married and they move out. So she's gonna, she's a little bit older than him. She always has been a little bit older than him. So that's a thing. And all of the, our guests are just sort of hanging out outside now. So also a thing, but I'm going to end this episode here at this point. I think what's going on with my baby? Why is she in this crib? Because she shouldn't be. Mal, what are you doing? Do you want to get the baby? You're outside talking with um the crazy girl. She's freaking psychopathic. Okay, she's coming to get the baby. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Why don't you change her on here though? Oh yeah, I forgot they have their baby brother here and technically I can change him. But he's now official with her um, script error with those two. I don't know what's going on with all the script errors. I probably screwed something up when I moved the families, but it's okay. But um, anyways, uh, yep, a bunch of error traps and script errors. I'm going to end this episode here, though. Uh, everybody's just going to chill out and hang out around the house. And we're going to start next episode with a new family member. Two, technically two new family members. Oh, they're so adorable, too. Because now we also have a uh, little... Not little anymore. Oh my god, you guys cannot woohoo. See, this is what I have to watch. Not while all of their parents are around, okay? This is why I have to watch you guys, you little little um hornballs. My teenagers are all like they just want to get busy all the time. So let's not do that though, and uh have you guys use the restroom here. Uh and then, you know. Okay, she's going home. All right, no big deal. Her sister now lives here officially. Are you guys trying to... Oh my God, okay. I need to make her up a room and stuff though just so she can stay here because they they agreed to watch her. Obviously, with the stipulation, you know, like they, they're supposed to be getting married. So she's getting bigger down there. Let's see what they end up having. I don't know, but she needs a bedroom. I need to make her up a, a bedroom. So she's going to be our guest until they officially get married. So we're going to have Mel in the household for a while. We have a wild family, you guys. It's a huge family going on right now. But spring should be right around the corner. We got four days left. And then we're going to, he has 14 days left. So he gets old. Oh my gosh, she's a lot older than him. I didn't know how much older she was than him. She has five days left. He has 14. Doesn't matter. He could technically get married while he's a teenager. I wasn't planning to actually get them married until he was like a young adult though. So we'll have to see. But she He's gonna be hanging out with our family until they get married and then I'll be moving them into their new home and all that other good stuff like that so we got a lot of stuff to do things are changing things are changing things are changing rapidly we have our new baby girl little baby Justine who is our little spoiled rotten social butterfly with black hair for some reason don't know where the black hair came from so a little confused on that one but uh, tis what it is I thought it would be brown I, I could tell it wasn't red but I thought it would be brown it's not though. <laughs> I don't know where black came from. Uh, I have to give the Willette's son a makeover. We can see what he looks like and stuff. I'm kind of curious actually. Did they take him home? Oh, he might have gone home. Yeah, he, he might have just like teleported home low key because he was sitting outside unless he's in my house somewhere. Little baby, are you in here? Because they like to play in toilets, though I think that I think he's at home. Okay, so I'll go fiddle around with him and what he looks like. And I'm just kind of curious to see what he looks like and everything like that. But lots of stuff is changing. I'm excited for the next episode. We'll have to see what's going to happen now that Madeline's in the household. And, you know, she's going to be aging up pretty soon. She's going to be a young adult. But, you know, it doesn't matter. And Emmerich is now officially, like, kind of, I guess, courting uh, Yvette. But they're going to end up being official really soon anyway, too because we know that those two are likely going to be getting together but he still has a little while longer in his teenage years to sort of come through that but we got four more days which means a couple more episodes of winter and then we'll be bursting into spring i'm looking forward to it so we can get back out go out exploring have some hunting trips i want to take the dogs and like logan and mal and emmerich and everyone and just have them go out and stay out for a couple of days maybe get them some tents and some fire pits and just go out and like dig up some of those spots with the dogs because they have some of those dig spots and he's mal's gonna start teaching them you know what he does and how he locates items and all that other good stuff like that should be fun maybe we can even find ellie a new bird since my other two decided that they just were gonna yeet up out of this place and not tell me where they went so we'll have to see anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of The Sims 3 for the Realm Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.